This is the National Video Journalist Network. Very rarely does this show come up without a name attached already. Usually when they're doing Jekyll and Hyde, it's because they have a Jekyll and Hyde in mind. And so I was very, very fortunate to, to get the, the opportunity to do this. They'll never be separate Jekyll from Hyde. The concept is about a doctor who feels that good and evil are uh, implicit in every person and that our job is to uh, try and find that good within ourselves as opposed to the evil and they're always battling within each other and then it all kind of goes sideways In the original Robert Louis Stevenson book, it's a little bit more about the evil inside of a person and this take on it has a little bit more to do with uh, dissociative identity disorder or multiple personality disorder or those kinds of mental illnesses. I play Emma Carew. She could basically marry whoever she chooses and she chooses Dr. Jekyll. You know, she's sort of really unexpectedly strong and fierce. You never promised me the journey would be easy, only that we would take it together. As the story unravels and Dr. Jekyll visibly falls apart, the audience is actually able to see that this is the same man and both of these personalities live within him. I don't think it, you know, it's not like in such a fantasy land. It's kind of, and I think that makes it all the more disturbing. Love is worth I think my favorite moment um, might be in his eyes. Not that often in musical theater do you get to sing such a fierce, powerful woman duet. And when I get to that moment of the show, I just sort of like sit into it and enjoy that. They're both exceptionally strong women for that era. Leanna's character of Emma it has told her father that she's gonna marry who she wants at a time where women were a commodity. And then Lucy is this fiery character who is in a tremendously challenging circumstance, but she chooses to live in a way that is strong, where she is finding ways to take ownership of her life, even when she has really limited choices and limited ways she can express herself. We The entirety of Bring on the Men. She steps on the stage and she just takes over. It's fun in Bring on the Men to give Lucy a moment to enjoy herself before it all falls apart. <laughs> I lost my night, I lose the day. The show is trying to explore how as a human being do I reconcile the fact that I want to do good, but I also have these impulses to do things that are not good for me and the world. And I hope that when people see the show, they see bits of themselves in Jekyll, and they see bits of themselves in Hyde, and they begin to reconcile those polarizing forces that, that do exist in every person. What's behind the facade?